Are you there? Yeah, yeah, this is Mike. So, as I check your file, the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action filed on your social security. We have got an order to suspend your social at this right moment because we have found many suspicious activities done on your social. Well, what does that mean? Did you receive any phone call from your local police department regarding this case? Uh, no, not that I believe, not that I believe of. No, I haven't gotten any. So you are trying to tell me that you are not aware of the situation happening under your name, under your social security number? Well, no, I'm just really confused. I, uh, no, I've, I, I pay my taxes. All right, so Mr. Mike, uh, do you want me to provide some more information right now regarding this case? So please grab a pen and piece of paper as what I'm going to say, you have to make a note of it. When you're ready, let me know. I will yeah. give you all information. Yeah, I got a pen and paper. All right, so first of all, write down my information for the future reference. My name is Mike Sean. Hi, can you spell that last name? S-H-A-W-N, Sean. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. And write down my employee ID, that is the 683340. 683340? Yes. And write down your case ID, that is a DCD like Delta, C like Charlie 7010. 7010. Yes. And Mike, before I go ahead and provide you any personalized details on this case, I would like to make sure that I'm speaking with the right person or not. So I'm going to ask you some security questions. Make sure you answer it to me correctly. So Mr. Mike, please verify yourself. Verify your date of birth. Yeah, it's, it's April. All right, and verify your social. Uh, yeah, it's, are you ready? It's 489. Repeat again one more time. Uh, I, I, I'm really bad at my social. I um, hold on. Let me let me grab my card. Hold on a second. Here here it is. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I just I don't really use it very often. Um, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's. Yes, yeah. Uh, I got the card right here. All right, so now, Mr. Mike. Yeah. I would also like to inform you that these lines are getting federally monitored and recorded, so please do not interrupt me while I'm giving the details about this case. I will give you a fair chance to speak after I have done. Found species for criminal activities in the state of Texas. Have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Yes or no? Yes. All right. Uh, which state your social security number was issued? Which state? Uh, Minnesota. All right. And when was the last time in the state of Texas you are? When? Uh, about 30 years ago. All right. Uh, because we are taking this issue to the FBI headquarters, as we are having strong evidence that are enough to prove you guilty inside the courthouse. Let me tell you, 
The investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car contained some blood and drugs inside it. Hence, after investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. There are two addresses linked with the title of the vehicle. The address in the city of Rawlett was read by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. But we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some documentation from financial institutes such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, TD Bank, Chan Bank, City Bank. And in this entire paper, works has your name on it, and thousands of dollars has been wired from these bank accounts locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. That is the only reason we, as a Social Security Administration, of the state of Texas has filed case against you for money laundering and as well as drug trafficking. So now let's know, do you have any questions regarding this case and your criminal activities? That can't be possible. I, I've, ne I've never rented a car before. I don't know how that could happen. All right, so you never rented a car? No, I, I've got bad credit, so I, I can't rent a car. All right, so how many vehicles do you have under your name, under your social security number? How many vehicles do you have? Uh, two. All right, name of the vehicle you have, like four name, zero vehicle. I'm sorry, say that again? What kind of vehicle you have? Oh, what kind of vehicle do I have? What kind of vehicle you have? Yeah, I've got a, uh, I've got a, um, a, a Ford Escape mm -hmm. and a Dodge Ram. All right. So let me ask you, have you ever lost your personal information somewhere in the past? Any kind of ID lost somewhere, like your social security number, your driving license, any kind of ID lost somewhere? Well, I lost my driver's license about three years ago. I think it was three or four years ago. I, uh, I had my wallet mm. stolen. All right. And have you ever shared your information with any third person? Well, just my therapist. So your social security number. Well, just my therapist. Mm -hmm. Come again. I said just my therapist. I gave him my and information. Have... Okay. And have you ever updated your information on internet, like applying for job application, applying for loan, applying for credit card like that? Well, I tried to apply for a credit card um, on, on a website that ended in dot .onion. I, 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 they, I don't know. I was trying to get a really good deal on a credit card. All right, so Mr. Mike, you are trying to tell me that you are not aware of the situation, somebody else using your personal information and doing this kind of criminal activities that you're saying. So I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering if that's what happened. I, I'm really worried about this now. All right, so now uh, let me tell you one thing. In this regard, we have also checked your past records and we have found that your banking contains genuine records and your social have no other complaints in the past. That is the only reason we try to reach you before you face any legal consequences. So if you are agreed to help the Department of Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and warrant on hold as we have to find the real culprit who has used your personal information and doing this kind of criminal activities. So what's your intentions towards this case file, which is going to be executed once the slides get disconnected? Are you agreed to help the department to clean your name from this sensitive case, from this criminal activities, yes or no? Of course. All right, that's it. And trust me, canceling your arrest warrant is not all easy task. So now, uh, to prove you as a victim of identity theft in the front of courthouse, to prove you as an innocent person. So I have to fill up a form 11 over here and forward to State Court of Texas. In this form 11, you have to, ha you have to help me out with necessary information so that we can do the useful for you as we have an access to some suspicious information which is linked with your social. We need to differentiate which information is true and which is not. We need to differentiate your personal assist opened by the real imposters. So, Mike, in this Form 11, the house you are living in, that's your own house or that's your renting house? Well, well I'm, I, 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 I own a house. All right, and whom you are living, the living alone or someone else? 
Well, my, my fiance. All right. Um, verify me a zip code where you live right now. Uh, yeah. And which kind of job you do? Like, what's your occupation? What's your business? Uh, which kind of job you do? I work for the fraud department. Excuse me? I said I work for the fraud department at Target. All right. And how many banks you are banking with under your name under your social security number? Uh, three. You have three banks? Yeah. All right. The name of the bank you have? Uh, TCF Bank. TCF? Yeah, it stands for Twin City Federal. Uh -huh. And second one? Uh, Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And third? Uh, that would be U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank. And which kind of fraud you are doing, like in Target? Uh, uh, investigation of, of, of fraudulent activity. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what did she say? <laughs>